legal fight over the voter ID law in Texas has heated up to a boil. The Justice Department has demanded that state lawmakers turn over their work. The state of Texas tries to enforce an ID law that could keep more than a million people from voting in the presidential election. It's one of 11 states. The Justice Department said the Texas law passed last year could disenfranchise Hispanic voters. They ask for IDs that 10 to 11 percent of Americans simply do not have. We were getting calls from people uh, saying, help, we can't vote even though we're registered. So we found a young lawyer to assist them with the bureaucratic morass that many of them were facing. My name is Abby Kamen. I met Tony several weeks ago. He actually came to Texas to be a student at the University of Houston. Brilliant guy, got numerous degrees, and became an engineer. Tony is uh, voted in every election he's been able to. Unfortunately, because of the new law, Tony cannot vote because he cannot prove his identity at the polls. Hey, Tony, how are you? Okay, just fine, Abby. My state ID was expired, so I called the Department of Public Safety. They told me that because my name was changed in 1964 that I could not get an ID. This is your ID card from... DPS that expired. And then here is your current voter registration. When he was 14, his mother and father were formally married, so they decided to change his last name to his father's name. Ever since 1964, I've had this name and there's been no problems until this DPS ID thing came up. You talk to them and, you know, a birth certificate isn't good enough because your name changed. Mm -hmm. So we need a name change certificate. We have sent our attorneys from Campaign Legal Center down to uh, the courthouse. Despite all of our efforts, they can't find the name change certificate. As the law stands now, based on your circumstances, you may not ever be able to vote. The bureaucrats and the politicians are giving me hell and I have done nothing wrong and my family did nothing wrong. So it might take moving to another state to fix this. Yes, sir. This is about the state of Texas using taxpayer dollars to implement the most restrictive photo ID law in the country that is intentionally used to suppress minority and low income voters. I'm living in a country that doesn't want me. And that is an awful feeling. So it goes beyond the simple 2014 election or whatever is or isn't happening. You know, it's a deep-seated thing. It's, it's feeling like you're in a place physically, but, but they don't want you to be part of it. 